Hello everyone, this is Hieronymia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation for the DS. Previously, the party was finally able to visit Clouds Gate Citadel in the Dream World. Now it's time to visit the Pillar of Pegasus. They have to help out Pegasus, a legendary steed who can make her way to the Dread Realm. So, upstairs, we'll pop down the swell. That takes us to that takes us to a shrine in the real world. On this island, southwest of Port Haven. And we find ourselves at the Pillar of Pegasus. Any treasures out here? Apparently not. Damaged floors, eh? Let's use safe passage. It seems this was once a beautiful garden built in Pegasus' honor, but it's gone to ruin. Pegasus is to be found somewhere in this tower. Let's get searching! This place almost looks like a shrine, eh? Indeed it does. Plenty of horse statues. Let's head inside. I sense that there are monsters planning a special reception for us somewhere around here. We mustn't let our guard down. Right. So where's Pegasus? What a splendid structure. Safe passage, more damaged floors, I see. And there's one treasure on this level. First we'll head northeast. And into this room. Two treasures here. A seat of strength. Lovely. A fry turn, uh-oh. Let's get him, team! Try out that Thunderbolt Blade! Absorb magic, eh? That is not going to help. Mainly because I'm not using magic on you. Go ahead and laugh. Enjoy the hustle! Goodbye, foes! Nevin reaches the rank of Sorcerer and learns Crackle and Drain Magic. And the fray turn drops a seed of resilience. Fantastic! And congrats, Nevin, on the rank of sorcerer, rank six in mage. And a seed of resilience. Now downstairs, hello sir. Don't mind me. For many long years, I was responsible for taking care of Pegasus. But if you have come here to see Pegasus, I am afraid you have wasted your time. For you to have made it this far, 
I am sure you know a great deal about the state of the world. You've heard of that villainous wretch Mortimer, I take it. It was his curse that turned Pegasus to stone. Oh dear. Of course, if Pegasus has, if Pegasus had merely been petrified, I could reverse the curse. But it goes beyond that. Her heart itself was stolen from her, leaving only an empty shell. Oh no. Wait, that horse that accompanies you? Sh surely it couldn't be. Yet her eyes seem strangely familiar. Indeed. Crikey, we came all this way for a petrified Pegasus. We can't give up now. Let's at least have a look at Pegasus first. We may well discover some clue as to how to proceed. For some reason, Peggy Sue piqued that gentleman's interest. Yes. You may have noticed, Peggy Sue and the wagon are with us here. Now let's go up these stairs and head up north. No treasures here. Let's check to the west first. Freezing fogs, eh? Expect chilly breath attacks. Enjoy the Thunderbolt Blade. Doing very nicely. Very nice, Nevin. Goodbye, freezing fogs. Down these stairs in the northwest. And here's a chest on the lower floor. With a mini medal. We're now up to 89. Just one more to our next medal prize. Now eastwards, after we take care of a couple of splutterflies. Enough of your spluttering. I doubt that will help you guys. Goodbye. Continuing east, to the south now, and here we have a myth steed and a killer moth. Bye bye, enemies. There's no way of knowing when the enemy will attack. Be careful! For the time being, let's keep moving upward. Onward and upward. This whole tower is like one big shrine to Pegasus, I. Yes, lots of horsey statues. A mottled men's slime and a killer moth, eh? I bet the men's slime heals. It also defends, I see. Goodbye, enemies. Healy reaches the rank of Philosopher in Sage. He learns Tidal Wave. And Summon. Congrats, Healy. The rank of Philosopher. Rank 4 in Sage. Now with Tidal Wave and Summon. 
And here's a stairway leading up. Two treasures on this level. Here's a chest with an Yggdrasil leaf. Very nice! Most excellent. And what's up there in the northeast? We'll first have to take care of a trio of overkilling machines. Not as bad as the uber-killing machines, thankfully. Let's buff up, team! Enjoy some zap! by overkilling machines. Now up here, we can go inside there to find a trio of chests. This one contains a mini metal. This one contains a seed of life. And this one contains... A Dragon's Bane! That seems to be all three treasures on this level. And we're up to 90 mini medals. We'll toss the Seed of Life into the bag. And the Dragon's Bane. Let's give that to you, Amos. Alrighty! Now we have some Hirsute Hexers. Look out for nasty magic spells. Oh yes! Nasty spells indeed! Good thing Nevin put up Magic Barrier! Dance, Millie, dance! Goodbye, enemies! Upstairs now, and back inside. No treasures here, apparently. More damage floors. Now we have a Hursu Texer and a Mottel Mint Slime. You were a bit late, Nevin. Goodbye, Hexer. Do the hustle. Goodbye, enemies! Now we'll head up the northwestern stairway. And any treasure? Nope. Now we'll follow the northern wall, back inside. 
and take this stairway after we fight these enemies. A Hursuit Hexer, a Myth Steed, and an Overkilling Machine. Late again, Nevin. Ouch. Do the hustle! There we are. Down to the Hexer! Fizzle? How useless! Goodbye, enemies! Ashlyn reaches the rank of Elite Blade, and learns Falcon Slash. Congrats, Ashlyn, on the rank of Elite Blade, rank 7 in Warrior. Now with Falcon Slash. Upstairs now. Any treasures? Two treasures. Be careful not to fall here. West and south, we find this chest. With a fire claw. May thinks I've already got one. Into the bag. Now we have some killer moths, eh? I do believe one can also find liquid metal slimes around here. Goodbye, killer moths. And Heirot reaches level 35. Congrats on level 35, Heirot. Our heroic Prince of Somnia. Now to the west. South, and then... We have an overkilling m machine and Myth Steeds. Buff us up! Rock 'em and shock 'em! Thin Air, and the Thunderbolt Blade. Goodbye, enemies! And here is another chest. It's a Mimic! Uh-oh! Hello, Mimic! Let's drain its magic. More drain magic. And Thunderbolt Blade.
Now, hopefully, it can't instantly kill us. Can we finish it? Goodbye, Mimic. And it drops a chest... with a seed of life. Very good, Mimic. Now let's take the store outside. Cross over to the east. And here's another chest. But first we'll have to fight three overkilling machines. Time to zap them. Let's buff up. Goodbye, machines. And... Gawain reaches level 32. He reaches the rank of Silver Knight. He learns Koswoosh. Congrats, Gawain. The rank of Silver Knight, rank 4 in Paladin. Now with Koswoosh. And this chest contains... a Seed of Strength. Very nice. Into the bag with this. Any other treasure? That seems to be it. So let us take this lift upstairs. Well, well. We first have to shoo away three killer moths. Take them out, team. Goodbye, Moths. Millie reaches the rank of Enchanter. She learns Fuddle. And Cassap. Very nice, Millie. Congrats on the rank of Enchanter, Mage Rank 4. Well done, Millie. Now, what have we here? A stony horse? There's no response. It's just a statue. Wait! Something's happening to Peggy Sue. Something strange is happening to Peggy Sue. Very interesting. Halt! I cannot allow this! Well, hello. I do apologize, but I really must step in at this juncture. You were about to revive Pegasus, which goes against the express orders of Mortimer. Now it's time for you and that horse to meet Oblivion head-on. Oh, really? We have a silhouette, a hijinx, and a devil moth. Let us buff up with Kabuff. 
Magic Barrier, and Kabuff. Swoosh, eh? Ouch. Now let's see if we can take out the silhouette first. He'll spit out a fog that nullifies magic effects. Venomous vapor. Not too concerned about that. Ouch! Now let's take out the moth. More kabuff. And let's... And let's full heal Nevin. Goodbye, moth. Why do you keep hitting Nevin? I'll get you for that. Another full heal for Nevin. Ah, uh, Kuswoosh. I'm prepared for that. And let's squelch Millie's poison. And do some hustle dance. Goodbye, hijinks. Hey, Roth reaches the rank of National Hero. He learns Kazap. Carver reaches the rank of Champion. Learning Metal Slash. And I do believe he has maxed out Gladiator. B but L Lord M M Mortimer! Urgh. Goodbye, hijinks. Look! So it appears, Peggy Sue was Pegasus's dream self. Pegasus, Peggy Sue, get it? And now Pegasus flies again. The Mythical Winged Horse. Quite fortuitous that we ran into her. Very nice, Pegasus. Welcome back. Peggy Sue's reins are glowing. Herot acquires the Celestial Reins. Fantastic! Avast! All this time, we never had a clue that Peggy Sue was Pegasus. I mean, would it have killed her to give us a hint? She's a horse carver. What an extraordinary turn of events. Destiny is clearly at work. So Peggy Sue was Pegasus, of course. Yes, of course. So, congrats on the rank of National Hero, rank 4 in Hero. Now with the spell, Kazap. A powerful group lightning attack. And congrats, Carver, on maxing out Gladiator. Now with Metal Slash. 
Good show. Now back to the dream world. And we'll rest at the Abbey. Hello, ma'am. Yes, let us rest, please. Thank you, ma'am. And then we'll go save. In the next episode, we'll go back to Cloudsgate Citadel and report in about the Celestial Rains. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.